Hi, this is the OG art teacher, um, unscripted, so mistakes will be made. Um, today I am going to go over what an artist toolkit might look like. Um, my suggestion is that if you can afford it to get some kind of a sketchbook. Um, a sketchbook can be a spiral notebook, um, it can be something fancier like a leather bound notebook like this. Um, it can be a collection of papers that you put inside of a folder. Um, you know, so you just throw all your stuff in there. Doesn't have to be stapled. Um, it could be a clipboard that you have your papers inside of. You could even put all of your papers inside of a uh, mailing, like a, you know, an Amazon package or, you know, what, whatever else you have. Um, you can staple it together. You can, um, it's basically just a compilation of your drawings all in one place. It's important to store that stuff, whether you think that it's trash or not, because um, anything that you do from now until, you know, the future will be something that you can look back at and see your progress, which can make you feel a lot better about the art that you're making at the present moment. Um, another thing is that any surface can be paper, like, in, or a drawing surface. Um, it doesn't have to be bright white computer paper. This is not necessary. This is what I use for my tutorials because it's blank and it's easier to see. Um, but you can use a folder. You can um, use the back of a an air rifle. Uh, not air rifle. Airsoft. Um, well, you know, target thing if you play with those types of toys, which, you know, I rarely do because I don't like guns and I don't think they should be in schools. Um, if you have Sharpies, you can use acetate, clear, um, transparency film if you are old school and have that. Um, you can use the inside of a cardboard box or cereal box or food box. Um, usually there's a seam on the inside that you can pull apart. Um, that's where I start with and you'll have a nice surface. Um, you can leave the plastic or take it off. Um, as you can see if you took the plastic off you might have a nice little design to trace. Um, but the inside of this is completely white and would just be recycled. Um, you can use the back of pretty much or the front of anything that you, you know, would be throwing away. Scrap paper, um, just, I mean, trash paper. It doesn't have to be super nice. Um, the... If you can get a sketchbook like this one, which is literally just a journal um, or a notebook, I think Cuaderno is in Spanish. This is an old one from when I was student teaching, and I really haven't added much to it, but this was my drawing style back before I knew more about how to draw in shade. Um, so anyway, those are some examples of things that you can use to draw on. Um, you can staple your stuff together. If you have a hole punch, you could hole punch a bunch of stuff and use yarn to tie it together or twine or um, zip ties or I mean anything that you can possibly imagine which to me is pretty fun like coming up with a sketchbook could be like a really exciting activity um, okay so after you construct a sketchbook you need to have some materials um, your drawing materials can be anything this is my typical um, drawing 
stuff. Um, I use Ticonderoga pencil. Um, that's my favorite. I don't really use mechanical pencils as much anymore, but you absolutely can. I have these retractable erasers that work great for doing details. Um, a white eraser or a black eraser usually works better than the pink ones. These are blending sticks or tortillons. Um, they make your shading a lot nicer and smoother. Ebony pencils are great for real, real dark stuff and a pencil sharpener. So I've got pens. Um, I personally don't have markers or crayons or and I really don't ever use colored pencils even though I probably will try to use some for some of these um, demonstrations. Fancier things are like um, this is a, an expensive situation. It's got HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, 7B, 8B pencils. Those are all going to be really soft leaded, darker, um, more, more like pressure, uh, less pressure for darker. Um, this is another eraser. It doesn't work like super great, but it is nice for if you've colored lightly and want to do some little erasing. This is a pencil eraser. You can sharpen it and again detail work. This is a big blender and a white gel pen which my students have told me about and I have not yet played with. Um, so that's basically what's in my artist toolkit. You can use any kind of plastic bag um, or any type of container, like, you know, you could use a little, just like a cup to hold your stuff in, um, but doing artwork from home, it's important to find a spot, maybe in your bedroom or in kind of a place that's more private where you can take out your sketchbook and take your, um, your toolkit or your art supplies. Um, I don't really have a spot in specific for where I put my stuff. Um, I have a garage studio that's pretty much always a disaster area. Um, but it's helpful to be able to take your sketchbook and take some art materials anywhere. If you possibly can get a um, piece of hard wood or a um, clipboard then you can do art anywhere. Um, with a clipboard I would suggest slipping it into like you're using it with a notebook. I would slip it in between the page that you're working on so that you have a hard surface underneath the page. Otherwise you're kind of drawing on um, a surface that is pillow like and will just kind of It'll leave an impression on the page, the next page over. Okay, so that's it for um, materials that I would suggest you have on hand. Uh, again, you can use any variety of stuff to do any of the drawing techniques that I teach. Um, you don't have to have fancy stuff. Use what you have at home. Don't spend money on like fancy materials because it's totally unnecessary. Thank you.